And this money lay took me about an hour and a half to make. If you're new to making a money lay, it might take you two or two and a half hours. If you're experienced with it, it, it could take you 45 minutes to an hour. So I would generally say with a little bit of experience, maybe an hour to an hour and a half to make this style of money lay. So to make our origami flower, you'll need three bills of any denomination, lightweight floral wire, and you'll cut it into approximately five to six inch pieces, and then one bead. The bead's not necessary, but you'll see it makes a nice embellishment. When it comes to selecting your bills, you will want to consider both the amount of money you want to give as a gift, but also the appearance of the bills, because you can see, like the $10 bill is a little more yellow, the $1 bill, it has a smaller facial image, and then if you look at the back of each bill, they also have different appearances. So consider both factors, how they look, and then the amount of money that you want to give as a gift. Today, we're gonna to be using the $5 bill and folding the $5 bill. You want to look for crisp, new if possible bills. They're easier to fold and look better. You'll fold it in half, and then you'll bring the, each edge up to the middle and fold it, increase it well. And the reason you're doing this is to make a line for your next fold. So then you'll open it back up and you'll fold to this line. And you'll do it on this side. You fold into that crease that you made previously. Then you wanna fold each of these corners down. And so I start off by approximately folding in the middle. Then I try to line up the bottoms here and then work my way up to the point, increase that. You'll do it on both sides. So again, I, point, I fold approximately to the middle of the bill and then I line it up at the bottom down here and then I go up and increase it. And you're gonna fold it in half this way. And it, the reason you're doing this is so that you have a nice line in the middle that you'll be folding towards. You'll open it up you fold the bottom up to that middle line, crease it well, and you'll fold what was the top to the middle line, and crease that well, Then you'll fold it in half and line up the edges and then crease it again. And for each flower we need to make three of this fold. So once you have the three petals done, you'll want to get your bead and your wire, your floral wire. You're going to line up what's going to become the petals. Depending on which denomination you use and which side of the bill you fold, you're going to want to check. It would be fine to do it this way because these will be your petals, but I like for the design on the outside of the flower to be the same, so I usually check. So these will be the outside of the flower. So you want to line these up and then fold them in half increase it, and you're gonna open it back up. And you want to make sure that your petal points are pointing down. This will be the center of your flower, and this will be the bottom. And you'll fold your wire in half. Now you could do it here, and then twist the wire and have a flower that looks like this. But I like to add a bead for a bit of embellishment in the middle of the flower. So we are going to do that. We are going to thread a bead onto our wire. And you want it to be about in the middle of the, the wire. And again, you want the points to fold down. This will be the center of the flower. And you're gonna wanna hold the bead there in the center. Line the petals up again. And if the bead moves, just reposition it. And then with these wires, you wanna twist them as tight as you can. So twist them, and this is what's gonna hold the flower in place and then the bead in place. I usually give it a couple of twists and then I'll twist the petals as well and try to get it as tight as I can. So then at that point, you open up the petals of the flower and then you just play with them a bit and pull them open until you have a flower. 
So again, to show you, this is one that I folded, let's see, with the faces up, and then this is what it looks like if you fold it the other way. So you can play around with your folds and decide which look you like better. I'm actually gonna end up mixing um, some of both on my lay. So your next step would be to attach your origami money flowers to your ribbon lay. And I'll add a link below for a tutorial that I've done on how to make a ribbon lay, but it really doesn't take that long. The supplies for the ribbon lay will cost you two to three dollars, and the very first one you make might take you 30 minutes, but after that you'll be able to make a ribbon lay in probably 15 to 20 minutes. So then you'll take your origami ribbon flowers and you'll decide upon the placement. And the bow goes on the shoulder, so you want to offset it a bit as you decide on your placement. And depending on how many flowers you made, you'll place them around. And I usually like to have one at the bottom and then place them evenly on the sides. And I have one more to make. Some people like to place them in an arrangement on one side and then spread them on the other. So all you have to do is decide for your placement and then to attach, wrap the wire around the lay and then attach it in the back. I often thread it through the ribbon and then wrap it in the back. To attach the money flower to the lay, you have the wires on the back of the money flower and you could just wrap it around the ribbon lay, twist the, the wires in the back and then you know cut them shorter and thread them. Often what I will do is thread them through the loop of the ribbon and it, it's really not hard. It just takes a second to thread it through and then thread it through the other side. And I just feel like that makes it secure in the location I've chosen. So once it's threaded through, you'll flip the lay over. Then you'll just twist the wires a couple times and then you can cut them if they're too long or you can just fold them down so that they so that they don't poke anyone while they're wearing the lay and poke it down or fold it down. And then now it's attached. It's not going to go anywhere. So we'll go ahead and attach the rest of the money flowers and then I'll show you what the final lay looks like. So this is the final money lay and you could place more flowers if you wanted. You could spread them farther away. Um, like I said earlier, some people like to group them in one location. But this is the more traditional spacing, where they're space, spaced somewhat evenly out along the lay. I like to leave no flowers here, because this is right next to the graduate's face and neck. And it, it can be a little irritating sometimes. While it's exciting to receive a money lay, these can be a little irritating as they poke into your neck. So if you leave the blank space, then that leaves space for the graduate to feel comfortable while you know celebrating their graduation. So this entire lay took probably about well, maybe an hour to make. Hour and a half. Your first time making it, it, it could take you up to two hours, but this is a relatively fast project to do.